Alrighty folks, welcome and bienvenue. Che Jeff Solo, how's it going? Uh, we have a car boot haul today for your visual pleasure. Um, I'll just quickly rattle through what I picked up. It wasn't a bad day today. I got up uh, fairly early um, and it was icy outside, minus six actually. Uh, but, you know, we persevered, uh, got the car all defrosted and popped through. And to start off with, it was slow as always. Um, there was hardly any sellers and a lot more buyers, but it was the usual suspects in the buying department. But no Bart and Ernie. No Bart and Ernie, folks. They weren't there. Uh, which which bamboozled me slightly because I thought they fucking lived there. But no, they weren't there. But there was the other guys, the, the DVD guy, who I, I call him the DVD guy. And the fishing guy, he was there, and the, f the the bottom of the pile, this absolute cretin, who's got a a, a lockup on there, and he, he's there every week. And he he goes around and picks before all the other buyers get there, and he's just a slimy, nasty man. I don't like him at all. He makes my skin crawl every time I'm near him. Uh, he was the one who was trying to sell me shitty old broken Power Rangers, telling me they were rare and they go for £10 on eBay. And the guy's a fucking idiot. I called him out about it too. I said, you're talking shit. I was like, don't try and kid me. <laughs> but uh, that was a while ago anyway, when, when I was a bit more angry when I went to these car boots, especially with him. But now I just kind of try and keep myself to myself and not get involved in the turf war. <laughs> I've retired. Uh, but nah, it was it was an all right day today and a few few cool pickups. Um, I'll just rattle through them. The first thing uh, was this thing I picked up. Oh, whoa, that was close. Nearly fell over. Uh, it was this. It's a pontoon dusty. Now, I have no idea what these are worth, uh, but it was in the box. I don't know if planes was such a, a massive hit, uh, but it only cost me 50 pence. So I thought, oh, I'll, just, I'll just take a chance on it. 50p. What's the worst that could happen? I get a fiver for it, maybe, because I'll definitely sell this. So maybe get a fiver back on it for 50p investment. It's not too bad. So yeah, pick that up. That was from a kind of a charity thing. So I was like, yeah, yeah it was quite a nice charity. A nice charity, a, a good, a good charity. So yeah, went for that. And then when I went into the, there's like a, a a hangar. Well, not a hangar. It's like a massive long porter cabin with loads of stalls in it. And that's the one that the guys are there every single week. They're, they're slight little shops basically. Uh, and I picked up this bad boy. It's this Playmates uh, Turtle Donatello. He's absolutely massive. Um, it's pretty cool. I've never seen one this big before of, of this style. It says £4 on its noggin, but I only paid 3 because it's really minging. But when I was in there buying this, that fucking guy I was talking about earlier on there, he was in there oh, just you know sniffing around. He just makes me just... Oh, I, hate, I hate the man. He's horrible. Uh, so yeah, pick this up. He was sniffing about it, but I, I picked it up. And he's looking at when I'm buying it. He's kind of all slimy and looking at it. It's just a creep, just a creep. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I picked that up for three quid. I thought it was pretty cool. And then because there wasn't as many sellers today, I was having to go into the, the traders uh, kind of places, and that's where I got that as well from a trader. But she's a nice lady. Oh, whoop! Uh, she's a nice lady. Uh, so yeah, it's fine, fine buying off her. This other lady though, I'm gonna sit down, it makes it a bit easier. Uh, I picked up this game, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and uh, five pounds it's got marked up there, but I didn't pay five pounds for it. I paid four pounds fifty for it. Uh, I can hear the cries. Why, Jeff? Why did you pay four pounds fifty for Harry Potter? It's not worth fuck all. Well, my friends and friendettes, well, just people in general, <laughs> I opened it up. And to my delight, underneath the Harry Potter game was Mario Kart Double Dash. So that's pretty cool. I know that game's worth a bit of money. Um, and I have, funnily enough, I have a case for that upstairs. So that's absolutely ideal. So that cost me £4.50. And I know that Double Dash is worth at least 20 quid. So good times. And I have the Manuel for it as well upstairs. So. All good in the hood. So that was quite a good find. So I got that from that lady for £4.50. And I also got this thing figure for £2.50. She knocked 50p off. She's just wonderful. Uh, <laughs> but I, ne I have never bought anything from her in my life. Uh, and today I bought two things from her. So she must have been... And I always walk past and look at her stuff and ask how much stuff is. And it's just far too expensive. So I just walk off. But yeah, I, I really have a soft spot for the thing. So yeah, it's cool. We'll go next to my... Uh, Marvel Select, 
Now, I'm sorry about the wobbling, guys. It's, uh, I can't do this justice on the tripod. Uh, I got this transformer for a quid. I've had this guy a few times. He's missing his matrix and his um, trailer. But he seems all there. He's not broken or anything. Not bad nick. So, yeah, not bad for a quid. Uh, picked up a pair of Air Jordans. They're a nice nick. Paid three quid for those. So hopefully get a bit of money back on them. Uh, then I bought all these wrestlers from my pal Chuck. Uh, remember this? Dulls! <laughs> he's, he's some lad. Uh, but he had all these and he said, oh, I've got all these for you. I've got all these for you, Jeff. I'm like, oh, wow, cool. Thinking, oh, shit, they're going to be all crappy ones. But, I mean, I don't know a lot about wrestlers, but I know that wrestling's popular. And, you know, these are all... Jack Pacific, Pacifics, Jack Pacifics ones, so they're really nicely detailed. So yeah, I had a quick look on eBay, and, and job lots of them are going for well, quite big money. Uh, and I've got twenty five here, so you know, I don't know, two pound a figure. It's, I paid twenty quid for the twenty five of them. You know, two pound a figure, twenty five. I could make double my money. I could even make triple my money. Um, I'm going to aim for probably about fifty five to sixty pound for the lot, uh, which but. When I'm saying that, I actually got a couple more as well from another seller uh, for 50 pence each. But this guy was the best one I found. He's not even a wrestling figure. It's Rocky Balboa. Um, that will go straight in the cabinet. He was only a quid it worked out at. In fact, less than a quid. So, yeah, chuffed to bits with him. He's really, really cool. And he's, he's going straight in my cabinet. I was thinking about getting a Rocky figure and I wasn't sure. I was going to get the NECA one. Um, but no, no, I think this guy's definitely, definitely the man... For the job. So that's him. Uh, other figures, apart from all the wrestlers, I'll just give you a wee scout over the wrestlers. I, as I say, I have not got a Scooby Snack about wrestling. I do know that's Hulk Hogan. He's not a uh, Jack Specific. Jack Specific? I can't even say that properly. It's just a stupid name for a toy company. <laughs> but I think, I don't know, they, I don't think they're a toy company. Well, they are, but they make other things too. But yeah, it's just a stupid name. Change your name, Jack Specifics. Change your name to something more. Sexy. Uh, anyway, this is the the Hulkster. So yeah, I was I knew who he was, and I also knew who this guy is. That's John Cena, and I think I have two John Cenas, but I'm gonna give one to my pal's son because he is a big John Cena fan, as is most seven, eight, nine year old kids. Uh, the next thing I picked up was this kind of gold looking chap. He's Bandai. He's from the nineties, uh, 1997. So, yeah, he's in absolutely great condition for something that's that old. Uh, so, yeah, pretty cool. If anyone could give me some help with that, I'd really appreciate it. He's got a holster there too, which looks, that's not snapped or anything. So, yeah, he's in minty condition. So, that's nice. Uh, Spider-Man, quite an early one. That was it 2001? So, he would have been the kind of Tobey Maguire era of Spider-Man. So, yeah, he's pretty cool. Uh, next we have this guy he's mental he's got like rubbery arms Power Rangers again I would assume like bang <laughs> uh, you press the button on his uh, belt and he woo, he lights up it's pretty cool uh, yeah he's from 2006 Bandai I believe yes Bandai so that's pretty cool uh, and then we also picked up this just this wee small galactic hero uh, Obi-Wan or my pal Ewan, whose grandmother, I was around, I was around his grandmother's yesterday delivering some logs. So there you go, folks. So I deliver logs to Obi-Wan Kenobi's grandmother. There you go. Uh, what else have we got here? Oh yeah, this chap. He's another wrestler. And this chap, which is John Cena. Uh, right, so that, that's all the figures and bits and pieces. Uh, I also picked up a few other things. I'm going to show you them um, because as well as a toy collector, I do like me eBay reselling. I've got this. It's a just a super dry hoodie and really nice nick. Uh, that was £3 or £2.50, I think. So I've sold, I sell these all day long. Um, probably get 10, 10 to £12 back on that. So yeah, probably make a ton of profit on it. I, I mean, I, I for me, anything's profit, you know. It, I'm, I'm not doing this to make a living, so... I'm just doing it for to make a little bit of extra cash to pay for holidays and stuff and pay bills. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cool for 
uh, three box. And then I also picked up this. It's a Halle, Halle, Halle Hansen jacket. Uh, it's in really nice condition. This is kind of a sailing make. My old man's a sailor. Uh, in the navy. No, he's not in the navy. Uh, but he's he's a he does like a bit of sailing. So he he that's how I know that Helly Hansen's quite a good make for sailing equipment. A quick a quick I can't even say it. Equipment. That's the one. And I also picked up this pair of shoes which I've washed. Which you uh, there you go. No Adidas. They cost me a pound and they were minging, but they've come up an absolute treat. I've just taken them out of the washing machine. They come up superb. A few little bits which I'll cut off. But yeah, not bad. So probably 10 to 15 back on those. And uh, yeah, there's some few other bits of clothing and stuff like that. But we um, they're in the washing machine. So I can't really show you those. Alright folks, thanks for watching. Uh, if you can help me with the wrestlers, that'd be grand. And uh, hope you guys did well today at the old Booteroonies. If you win. Cheers guys, see ya.